Hello everybody. Today I will be doing a review on Fun Run well Fun Race 3. Um and just first off, I want to say this is my first video that I'm talking in. Hopefully you don't mind about me being a little awkward sometimes. And if I just like mess up something, just please don't mind it. I this is my first video that I'm talking in, so yeah. <laughs> Um, first off, Fun Race 3 is a super fun game. It's, it has so much customization and, uh, for your character and just the gameplay of it. It's just really fun and the satisfactory of killing other people with all these fun weapons and just racing them is super fun. Um, I suggest you play this with a friend or something someone you know and you can see their reaction um, but to be fair this game is really fun I played this for about a month now and I have a lot of fun playing it um, there are clans and uh, more stuff but one warning if you want to get this game and play it is that if you actually play this then you get a little bit of blood and dead animal parts flying out when you die or kill someone else. That might be a little worry for yourself. So if you don't like that those kind of games, then um, just don't play this game. It's, it's probably not for you, but it's really fun when you can see other people's reactions and how they feel. If you want this game and you don't like the blood and stuff, maybe just don't pay attention to the blood and just look at your, the other person's reaction that you're playing with. But hopefully you enjoy this background gameplay, by the way. I really appreciate it if you'd like this. Um, if you want more um, game reviews, um, just please like and subscribe. And maybe turn on the notification bell if you want. Um, I'm not really making you do this but i, I really appreciate appreciate it if um you would um right here i'm doing clan battles because um we have a clan me and my friend um but i, I mean sometimes we win sometimes it's it's a pretty hard game um it's like really hard sometimes when you go against like a gold player sometimes against a different player like silver bronze is the worst tier silver is second worst and gold is the best i don't know if there's a higher rank than gold i don't think i've seen anyone get it so i'm just gonna say that but don't mind me if you see someone that is in like crystal or something i mean because i've never seen that i mean i'm pretty low tier as a silver but I think I'm pretty good. Um, this is a good game overall. Um, very cool graphics and stuff that you see. I'll just stop talking right now. Maybe until when I get to the shop part. But right now I'll stop talk talking and actually show you the gameplay.
Okay, guys, now I'm back. Um, as you can see right here, there, these are all the clothing options that you can have, including trails and all these animals that you can buy with coins and gems. Um, here are the power-ups that you can get later on in the game. I'm not that far in, so I don't really have any good ones. But And then if you go to the skins, necessarily gems are kind of pay to win, but there's also kind of not since gems don't really cost anything um if you're in like a clan or something i think that's the fastest way to get gems doing clan battles um actually the fastest way to actually getting it is um doing tournaments as you can see here i'm just testing with the skins but now um we are doing another game hopefully you don't mind the the last game of being a little talking in there um hopefully that hopefully you don't mind that but uh, here we go so um i'm just gonna commentate like i'm actually in the game right now playing it so right here um i i'm really just uh, using all my power-ups firstly because I cannot get another mystery box if I can um, already have a power-up well actually this is kind of tips and tricks so I'll just say that tips and tricks for you guys but right here I just throw saws and stuff saws are like one of the most best thing you can get for just killing people shields are pretty useful um, but I think saws are the most useful thing. Also, some traps are pretty good. Traps, I say, if you put it, like, right behind you and you're in first place or second. Or just in front of someone, then you can just get, um, a, a buttload of kills. But, um, right here, we won. And, um, after this game, uh, we fight this other team. Now... This team, uh, well, I mean, it was an okay team. They were okay. They had us at the start. We kind of came back. Well, actually, this team was the team that we went up against last game. We somehow ended up fighting them again. And so, there's that. Um, I was going to think that we were going to win, but... They came back and just destroyed us after this. Um, I can't, you, one problem with this game also is that you can kill your teammates. Um, killing your teammates is not that useful if they're really like in your clan and stuff. And like killing your teammates can just really affect you badly. But here, I was keeping first place for a long time, so they just got the, the, the speed and don't mind the clan name that was i, I didn't want to show that but there is no way i can blur that um now we're fighting against this other team they're silver just like us so we had a good chance against them um right here we are i just spam my power up another, another tip and trick don't spam your power up at the beginning like what i did because if you spam it at the beginning then it really like affects your game because that means if you had speed and another person had lightning right there it would cancel out your speed and just kill you and just waste your speed <sighs> don't mind that um but right now another trip another chip oh my god Another tip I can uh, tell you is that don't tr don't like purposely kill yourself. As you can see right there, I got a lot of kills with that trap and that saw, and then I took the win for our clan. Um, after this, um, let me just show you the leaderboards that these people have in their game. Um, the leaderboards here are pretty good and um after this i'll show you our clan that's our clan the pg3d squad 
and um, I hope you join the squad. It would really, I would really appreciate it. But right here, um, me and my friend are gonna do some one v one matches in Turbo Tunnels. Um, Turbo Tunnels is a pretty cool map. Maybe one of one of may, maybe one of mine and my friend's favorite maps. But um, this map was originally i think a different map but they changed it for the season that we're in and that all uh, stuff all that stuff um right now you can see that i was holding the lead until he just got the f the f speed and just wrecked me right there and uh after this part the the tr the fast part of them uh what are them called treadmills <laughs> that make you go faster um they were a pretty good part in this whole thing but uh i could not keep up to him as he won the match we are doing a another match after this hopefully you stay till the end of the video um so here we are doing turbo tunnels again <sighs> turbo tunnels uh as I say again, is a really good map, but um, for the map selection, selection, um, I would say that this never showed up. I mean, it it does show up in the map selection in a normal game, but um, throughout our whole games, we have never seen this map in a map selection for a, a normal game so there's that um but uh i'm catching up to my friend right here hopefully you don't uh mind of me talking about the game that i'm actually in right now but um right here i just um use my thunder and thunder just like stops their pace and everything but uh l let me give you another tr tip right at the end um, another tip is that to um, just be confident in your games.